Hades 2 was one of the biggest surprises from the Game Awards announcements this year, and you might have noticed that Supergiant's second foray into the Greek god-inspired roguelike is missing one particularly fire-footed main protagonist. Zagreus looks like he's got his feet up in Hades 2, and players will instead take control of a brand new main character, Melanoi. So who is this mysterious goddess? And where does she fit into the story that the original Hades set up? Melanoi was one of the huge crowd of minor gods and goddesses in the Greek pantheon, so while she was never considered a big hitter, her domain fits the bill for an underworld-focused adventure. She also has comparatively little official mythology surrounding her, so while we know a few details about her family history and godly powers, her background is outrageously open-ended, making her a perfect pick for Hades too since she has so much room for interpretation for the story writers to really get creative. Melanoi is a chthonic goddess, meaning of the underworld, obviously, and is often associated with nightmares as well as madness, ghosts, and lost souls. She leads an army of the dead and has strong connections to funeral rites. In fact, one of the key factors of her domain is honouring the dead, so it's easy to see she has a strong connection to Hades, right? Her family history actually tends to vary from myth to myth, but the generally accepted ancestry is that she is a daughter of Persephone and Hades, making her Zagreus's blood sister. You know, just in case the red eye and the fiery feet didn't give it away. There are some myths that mention her father ranges from a mortal king to even Zeus, which could create some brotherly tension after all the love at the end of the last game, but given that we hear Melanoi talk about her father, and see Hades captured and shackled somewhere at the hands of the time titan god Kronos, it's pretty obvious what Supergiant are going for here. In the stylish action-packed trailer, we also see what appears to be Melanoi's mentor, who is undoubtedly the goddess of magic, witchcraft, the night, moon, and necromancy, Hecate. A deity that Melanoi is actually often confused with, so the connection makes sense. Hecate actually helped Demeter search for her daughter Persephone way back in the Greek mythos. Judging from what little gameplay we saw in the trailer, it looks like Supergiant are really staring into the magic side of things. Which makes sense given Melanoi and Hecate's affiliation with magic and necromancy. So it looks like we'll be taking down enemies with some incredibly powerful sorceries and other magical abilities granted by a whole new colourful cast of Greek gods from the Pantheon. Alongside the standard array of weapons we got a brief look at, including a sickle and dagger set, and what looks like some kind of staff. So, will Melanoi team up with Zagreus? How has Kronos managed to capture the god of the underworld? And what other weapons will we get to tear the underworld apart with? We can't wait to find out more about Hades 2. So there you go, that's everything we know about Melanoi, our brand new Hades 2 protagonist. Like this video if you're hyped for the roguelike sequel, subscribe for more content like this, and check out this video for some more deets on what the game has in store. Thanks for watching.